Corps of Engineers officials witnessed model turbine tests this week conducted by Voith Hydro. The tests were completely successful, which means the manufacturing process and work to modernize the powerhouse at Center Hill Dam remains on track. They were running it at 224 feet ahead. We'd have to add another 20, 30 feet uh, of height to the dam to even do that. But, th but that's how good their model is. Their model is good enough that in order to get it out of the li required limits by the contract, that they would have to do something that's that out outrageous. A mechanical engineer from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Hydraulic Design Center validated the tests, which included checking the efficiency of the turbine and other technical aspects of its operation. Voith had provided a, uh, a model test report uh, about 15 days ago and, and we had a chance to look to preview that and really what we're doing is we're verifying the data points they provided. So we go through the different heads and different flow rates and we verify the performance, we look at cavitation, uh, just, just overall look at the different aspects of the unit to make sure everything is meeting the specifications. The tests also generated a lot of interest from a team of hydropower experts from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District, which operates and maintains the hydropower units at Center Hill Dam. Voice hydraulic engineer responsible for the tests was excited to showcase the turbine in the laboratory and demonstrate that it meets or exceeds the Corps of Engineers requirements. We started the, the, the witness test on Monday the 6th and today Wednesday was just solely looking at the model and uh, you know looking at the plexiglass cone and looking at below the turbine and see what at different operating conditions what the runner will look like and make sure that uh, the, the, the data actually uh, matches with what the data that was presented in the uh, report. The testing is a requirement of a $47 million contract to rehabilitate three hydropower units that have surpassed their scheduled design life. All 28 units at nine project sites in the Cumberland River Basin are expected to be rehabilitated over a 20-year span. Overall in the hydropower rehabilitation program we are uh, re rehabilitating old equipment so we're going to increase the reliability of the equipment so that there will be less downtime, fewer outages uh, for maintenance related issues and things like that. We're going to improve the efficiency and, and at Center Hill specifically uh, we're going to be able to produce more power than we could with the previous units uh, and at the same time be able to increase the dissolved oxygen in the uh, Caney Fork River downstream of the dam. So we're going to get power benefits in terms of more power, more reliable power, and environmental benefits through the dissolved oxygen increases in the stream. The team from Nashville also toured the laboratory and production facilities. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District from Voith Hydro's S. Morgan Smith Memorial Laboratory in York, Pennsylvania.